Hey, it's Chris Bertan Austin. Um, I'm here with Sam uh, Calcioni. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Uh, with Brewer of Dogfish Head, owner. Uh, we're at Alamo Draft House, Lake Creek. Welcome to another episode of Over a Pint. Cheers. We're drinking April Hop on this pint, right, Chris? Drinking April Hop for this one. This is April Hop. So, my next question would be what are we drinking? But you went ahead and jumped the gun there on that. Uh, why don't you tell me about it? Oh, okay, so uh, basically April Hop, we've been brewing for, gosh, maybe uh, 10 years now, and we wanted to make a fruit beer for people who hate fruit beers. Yeah. So it's really uh, a, a, a fruit beer for hop heads. It's not like sweet and soda-y. The apricot's kind of in the background, uh, basically just to emphasize the citrusy character of the Northwestern yeah, yeah. hops that are in the beer. Okay, where, where does the hop profile on it? I could tell you, Chris, I'd have to kill you. Can't uh, I, I don't know. You know. <laughs> but it's a, a fairly hop-centric beer, but it's all Northwest hops, but we don't really talk about which varieties. Okay. All right, cool. So we're here for the off Center Film Festival, um, and you, the, tonight is Friday, the uh, tasting. Yeah. You want to tell me, I guess, what you're excited about serving tonight? Uh, well, I mean, tonight, uh, well, uh, you know, I, I'm lucky enough that I get to drink a lot of our beers with the great frequency as I do events. So I always look forward to the stuff that's harder to find, uh, beers like uh, Pangea that we're going to have tonight, uh, the Aprop, just because this batch I'm really uh, stoked about. Yeah, it's uh, good. I, I, I like the, It's a newer batch, right? It's yeah. different than before, yeah. yeah? This was a beer that, frankly, you know, we brew 30 styles of beer at Dogfish Head every year. I, I think we brew the most styles of beer of any packaging brewery in the country. Uh, and last... Aprop is the one that, I'll admit, got away from us. It got a little too sweet, and it got away from being an IPA with a little fruit character. Yeah, yeah. And we brought it back to that. So I'm psyched to share that one with people tonight. And actually, I'm most psyched about the food side, because Paul, who runs the food side of, of Alamo, went off, and he and he did, like, uh, crazy local beef, uh, local duck, and everything's, like, from scratch. So there's... 15 different Lo food. Local, local to you or local to us? Local to you guys in Texas. Oh, cool. Okay. So I'm, 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 I get to drink our beers a lot, and grant, I'm psyched to try all of our 15 beers tonight, but I'm mostly psyched to try them in the context of the food that Paul and the Alamo people created because I know they put a lot into it tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. So, um, yeah, this is really good. I'm liking it. Thanks for, uh, Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, my pleasure. Got to drink another one. Yes, um, you do. So, uh, I guess, what's some cool things you guys are doing right now? I know that, I guess, you know, recently, you know, you did the the chisha beer with the the chewing yeah. it up and spitting it out. Spit. Yep. And anything else coming up? Uh, you mean like from my indigestion? <laughs> anything else coming up other than our saliva and a beer? Uh, the chicha turned out great. It was one of our most popular beers at our pub, uh, and it is made with saliva as a catalyst uh, for. Uh, starch conversion. Uh, right now, uh, we've got uh, one that I'm really excited about is something called Saison de Buff, okay. which is a collaboration between Dogfish, Victory, and Stone. Uh, that sounds good to me. It'll be neat. Uh, and uh, we're big like music heads, and we're, we like to rock. And we 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 found a folky beer to do, so it's referencing a. Uh, Simon Garfunkel. It's a okay. it's a, uh, a saison, but it's made with parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Shut up! Oh, I'm not kidding. <laughs> and they actually work really well together. And what's unique about this uh, collaboration is we're actually doing three different batches of it, and the three of us are getting together at all three locations to do three different versions of the same recipe. Oh, cool! So there'll be versions. Available from all three of our breweries. And what, what would do you know what the variations would be between the versions? No, say, uh, uh, Stone's the only brewery that's made it yet. Okay. Bill Kovaleski at, at Victory and Dogfish. We're making ours in June, okay. uh, and ours will come out later. But Stone's will be available pretty soon. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll get some here in Texas. Yeah, I'm sounds, excited for that one. Yeah, it sounds really good. Cool. So, anything else going on? Uh, let's see, we're doing a thing with uh, Mario Batali and Joe Bastianich, the great restaurateur is out of New York. Oh yeah, that's a rooftop restaurant, yeah, right? Yeah, we're doing yeah. a rooftop brewery, so I've spent a lot of time on that and going up to New York with visits and working on designing that little brewing system. And so it's Dogfish, uh, Russian River, our friend Vinny uh, 
uh, and two Italian brewers, Leo and Teo, and the four of us are the contributing brewers, and then Mario, Joe, they're doing the, the restaurant side, and Italy is kind of like the Whole Foods, here we are in the home of Whole Foods, it's kind of like the artisanal Whole Foods of Europe with really our, you know, great, like, rustic and local and slow foods movement emphasis uh, food side, and, uh, we're doing the beer side. It's going to be a, a really amazing uh, thing, you know. The brew pub's on a rooftop in Manhattan, yeah, yeah. and you're overlooking, you know, the the Empire State Building, the Flatiron Building. It's going to be a pretty unique and impressive setting for world class beer and world class food. So I'm pretty psyched about that. Yeah, that sounds real cool. Yeah. Um, now I know that uh, for the festival, uh, you uh, you did a video with uh, Billy Prince Jr. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Bonnie Prince Billy, which is Bonnie Prince. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which, well, that's his stage name, but the guy's name is Will. Will. Oldham. Yeah, Will Oldham. Yeah, yeah. And he's uh, uh, we're just uh, two kindred spirits, uh, and uh, he's played at our pub uh, maybe three times in the last 15 years, and the last time he played, which was only three weeks ago. Uh, on Sunday before we did a barbecue at my house, we went to my brewery and shot this film together. Okay. And uh, he's an amazing actor as well. He's been in movies like uh, Old Joy yeah, and I saw that. Did you? It was cool. Yeah, yeah, in the woods. And yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Guatemalan handshake. It so it creaked my wife out. It did. She's yeah. Not a fan, but yeah, yeah. it's good. And uh, but amazingly talented artist, and uh, it was just an opportunity for us to kind of uh, play around together and do something fun. So that movie will get premiered tomorrow night. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sam, thanks for uh, sharing the beer. Hey. Thanks for coming out. Oh, thanks for coming out too. So, yeah. thanks for spreading the word about craft beer around Texas. Well, oh, that person's getting fired. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thanks and Thank uh, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Genitalia And that's how I'm going out Support your local breweries Thank you Alamo Thank you Torch